Hello, I'm Dr. Shante Haynes with Heart to Heart Truth Ministries, and this is your truth for the week. I'm helping you put feet to your faith so that you can walk victoriously. Today's message is simple, how to rest. I know you're probably thinking, um, you just lay down and go to sleep. No, it doesn't happen like that because many of us have our minds turning when we're supposed to be resting. We're calculating. We're trying to figure things out. We're getting frustrated because it's not happening like we want. We need to truly rest. Rest in the Lord is really how we need to do it. But here's the thing. When I'm going to just make it very simple. Read your word. Study your word. Get in your word. The word of God is going to allow you to rest. Let me tell you what the acronym for rest is. And these are some of the benefits that you're going to get out of reading the word. Rest is you're going to remember that there's nothing impossible for God. The Holy Spirit will bring back to your remembrance all the things that were put there, but you got to put them there. That means you got to read the word to know that God has done it before in the past. He'll do it again in the future, that he is not a respecter of persons, that he favors you. He loves you. He cares for you. His desire is to provide for you and to protect you. You need to know and you find that out in the word. That's the R. You're going to remember that there is nothing impossible for God. Secondly, you're going to encourage yourself. That's a benefit of reading the word. You get to encourage yourself that if he did it for David, he'll do it for you. If he did it for Joseph, he'll do it for you. If he did it for Elijah, he'll do it for you. That there is so much and so many people that have had things that happened that didn't look like they were going to be able to make it on the other side, but they got through. And you can encourage yourself by realizing that harvest time is yet coming. The S is that you're going to stand on the promises of God because see, guess what? In the midst of your reading and your studying, you're going to write down these promises. You're going to put them in a prominent place. You're going to place them on your mirror. You're going to put them in places where you will always see them, but you'll know that the promises are there and you can stand on them because you know of the faithfulness of God. The T is you're going to trust in God's report. You're not going to believe the report of the unsaved. You're not going to believe the report of the world, but you're going to believe the report of the Lord. When you read his word, he says, I'm able to heal, deliver, and set free. I can do all of these things for you and you can have all things. You can be strengthened in all ways through Christ because he is going to give you strength. So simple fact of how you're going to rest, get in your word, read it, study it, obey it, follow it, so that you can remember there's nothing impossible for the Lord. You can encourage yourself. You can stand on his promises and you can trust in God's report. This is Dr. Shante Haynes. Have a fantastic rest of your week. God bless. And don't forget to come back. Listen to the encouraging message on Sunday. Listen to the prayer in the middle of the week if you need to. But make sure you put feet to your faith so that you can walk victoriously. Have a fantastic rest of your week. God bless. Hi, thanks for listening and watching. And if you enjoyed what you've seen, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. And hit that notification button so you'll know the next time there's a new episode. Listen, as a result of my coaching program, my clients have experienced a calming of the emotional roller coaster. They have a compelling future, as well as the confidence and the know-how to achieve it. And they have clarity on the financial tools that they need in order to live life on their terms and save tens of thousands of dollars. I'm looking for women who are devastated by the double deeds, divorce or death, who want to gain confidence to live life on their terms with peace and financial security. My question is, who do you know? Have them go ahead and book a call with me so that we can get to that compelling future. My heart may be broke, but your bank account doesn't have to be. You can find us online at h, the number two, htruth.org. At Heart to Heart Truth Ministries, we're helping believers live an abundant life based on God's word, standing on his promises, walking out his principles, sharing with God's people, serving as unto the Lord.